Good morning, everybody. Ooh, it's a really sunny day today. Not a cloud in the sky from what I see. Actually, this weather made it kind of difficult to decide what to shoot today. It's a nice blue sky and everything, so I was thinking of getting some practice with the, uh, the filters again, just to like test it out. But uh, originally what I wanted to test because of yesterday was trying to fly the uh, Mavic Pro with the obstacle avoidance off because at times uh, it got really picky from going in between areas even though it can fit, it's just being cautious. It's kind of like the uh, first time I flew it. If you guys saw my unboxing video, I tried to fly it between like, you know, a really tight corridor, even though it can fit, it stopped. So you had to turn the uh, obstacle avoidance off. So I was thinking of testing that today. Uh, who knows, if I have enough battery, maybe I'll test both. Can you guys believe it's January 31st already? Where did this month go? That went by pretty fast. I thought it'd be a good time to reflect upon, um, you know, things like the Sony cam that I bought too. I think so far it's been working out pretty good. What do you guys think? The stabilization basically lived up to my expectations for the most part. I mean, I'm not expecting the thing to be like gimbal quality, like if you buy those $300 gimbals. But for what I use it for, uh, walking around on the spur of the moment, so you guys can see in the hiking, it's been fantastic. Uh, that's why I usually like watching like real people usage of products like this too. You get to get kind of get a feel of what it actually looks like or just like me when I use my Mavic Pro or this you guys can see exactly what the picture quality is like there's been no color correction or anything like that so if I can shoot like that then you guys can too I mean that's the great thing about watching real users using the products right I guess that's one of the good things of me uh, shooting everything in high def and just storing it too I mean in case one day if for some reason I get help or I'm able to color correct those stuff to make it look more quote professional then I'm assuming everything will look even more fantastic I mean who knows but for now I'm just shooting for fun and basically you know trying to learn the ropes as they say trying to understand what to do to get the best picture quality and I think the only thing I'm missing really from my uh, setup to do a really good lifestyle vlog in every situation is the mic I haven't really been able to find a good um, a mic solution because there's like wireless laviers and so forth. I mean, all of them are like, I don't know, they're all foreign to me in terms of which one's the best. Everyone says like Rode video mics uh, were good for the DSLRs, which I actually do have, like the Video Mic Pro. But the laviers, like they're all, I don't know, they're all over the place in terms of reviews and stuff. So I don't, I'm not really sure which one to get, but it would be a good addition. So that way you guys don't hear like the winds and so forth. I don't know if you guys can hear that like blowing right now, but I can feel it. But maybe that'll be a future purchase if I find something great for that. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to fly through this path here. I'm just gonna do like a little scouting just to uh, make sure I'm not gonna like go in some crazy dead end or anything like that. I'm just trying to calculate where's the best place to fly here. Can I actually go through? You'll all have an adventure with me, I guess.
That was kind of a crazy test. Oh. I made sure, like I said, uh, safety first. I just made sure, you know, there's no one around me all the time, I'm very alert and so forth. So to fly that, as you may have noticed, I had to turn the obstacle avoidance off. And uh, I guess one of the tricky thing about flying in that mode is um, if you're used to flying with it on, it actually goes a lot slower um, if you hold the throttle all the way up. And if you turn the obstacle avoidance off, it actually goes way faster. It almost reminds me of flying in sports mode, actually. So you got to be really careful, like um, when you push the sticks, like how lightly you go. Because even like the slightest touch, if you're used to flying like with it on, whoa, it goes like pretty fast. I guess in situations like that, that's actually one positive thing of being a, a gamer that plays a lot of video games. Because like uh, for people like myself, a lot of games they use analog sticks, and there's a lot of games where you have to be really precise, like to walk or run and so forth. So it really helps, like with flying with the drone, I find anyways. And they even said they designed the controller to be for like gamers or people that play video games, and yeah, it really helps. I just felt I had to do a challenge like that because um, I felt I need uh, something a little bit more, a little bit more challenging to kind of uh, upgrade my skills, if that's what you want to call it. Because I've been flying mostly in open areas, as you guys know. So uh, I thought it was time that I basically test to see how good I am at controlling the actual drone manually. Because there's going to be times uh, where those automatic modes aren't going to be available for whatever reason. Whether it be for emergency or whatever. So you got to learn to be able to control it all on your own. Oh, it was fun though. Oh, what a crazy end of the month uh, challenge or test for myself, I guess you can say. Actually, when I first got the uh, Mavic Pro drone, I was thinking if there was propeller guards and you can fly indoors somewhere so you don't have to worry about busting it if you crash. But I guess that wasn't really an option, so you gotta do it the outdoors way. Just fly open outdoors for a long time and then I guess gradually try to do places like this where there's not a lot of people or no people at all, like during the uh, early wee mornings and all that. Since I was flying really cautiously and all, it actually took me a while to fly um, from one end to the other. And I drained virtually all my battery. It's about, uh, what is it, 25% right now. So unfortunately, I can't get a shot of this lovely blue sky. So I guess I have to wrap it up for today. Anyways, see you guys later and to another month.